Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Yes, you read that title correctly, so let's jump right in. So my question is, in heaven, if he has a superhero suit and he wanted to play Superman, could he not then just run and jump and actually fly? Well, you know, I think I've mentioned to you before, this might be a point, uh, uh, an appointed question from you on purpose, but you do learn how to fly when you're in heaven. You learn. I don't think you instantly go there and you start flying around the streets of gold, not what I've been showing anyway. I think people wouldn't know what to do. Um, you're <laughs> actually trained in heaven, but I love God's sense of humor. I do too. Because I happen to know that Christopher Reeve, who played the original Superman, I mean, the, the you know, the colored version, colorized version, and he was good at it, and he was a great guy. Yeah. And we all know that he died kind of early, but he is in heaven, and what he does in heaven is he teaches everyone to fly. Really? So you, really? So you, really? So you, uh, legalistic people won't like that. Uh, legalistic people won't like that, but you know, we, you're going to get over it when you get there and you're going to stay in line with everybody else. And there is a place in heaven where you learn to fly. And after that, you really can just fly just about anywhere. So uh, I'm sure you probably get a cape if you're going to learn by Christopher Reeves this is the one who actually teaches you to do that. Yeah. And I think people were excited when he, when he came to heaven, because you do get to use your gift. That was certainly a gift. That's what he was known for. He was a superhero on earth. He lived a great life. He mentored people. He helped people and, and loved children. So I, I understand why God would choose him, probably as part of his reward. But he is the one who will train you and teach you to just fly, just like That's, he did in the movie. Now, <laughs> Please, if you do listen to Cat Kerr, to learn more about God, just stop. Christopher Reeve was not a superhero here on Earth. He was a normal human being that acted in a fictional movie as a superhero. Superman is not real, Spider-Man is not real, and neither are any of the other superheroes. Cat Kerr is the number one storyteller there is on trips to heaven, but if the Apostle Paul was not allowed to speak of his experience, then I guarantee that Cat Kerr would not be allowed to reveal the amount of things she has claimed to have seen. If you really believe this woman, then I challenge you to do what it says in 2 Corinthians 13, 5 and examine yourself to see if you really are in the faith. Let me ask you this question. If you died today, do you think you'd go to heaven? Fact is, we've all broken God's Ten Commandments and breaking God's law is called sin. 1 John 3, 4 tells us that sin is transgression of the law. Let's go through a few of those commandments. Ever told a lie? It only takes one to make someone a liar. Ever taken something that wasn't yours, even if it's small? That makes you a thief. Ever said, oh my God, or Jesus Christ in a moment of anger? That's called taking the Lord's name in vain. How about having a dirty thought? God is so perfect and holy that even thinking lustful things is considered adultery of the heart to him. And that's only four of the Ten Commandments. The penalty for sin is death, and God's prison, so to speak, is hell, and it's forever. And just like in a court of law, a good judge cannot overlook someone's crime, God will not overlook ours. But also like in a court of law, if the fine is paid, the judge can legally let you go, even though you're guilty. If we died today and stood before God, we'd all be guilty of breaking his laws. That's where Jesus comes in. He lived a sinless life and took the death penalty on our behalf. So just like someone paying your fine in court, Jesus paid our fine to God with his life. John 3.16 says that God loved us so much that he gave his one and only son and that whoever believes in him, that is, commits to Jesus, will not get what they deserve but shall have everlasting life. Ephesians 2, 8-9 tells us that we are saved by grace through faith in Christ and not of works. There's nothing we can do to earn God's forgiveness. It's his gift to us. So if you aren't sure that you'd go to heaven today, then admit to God that you're sorry for breaking his laws. Admit that you deserve punishment for this and confess that you believe Jesus Christ has paid your fine on the cross. There's no special words. 
just be honest with God. He knows everything anyways. If you're sincere about that, then scripture says that you will become a new creation. The old you will be gone and the new will come. You will be born again and with God's spirit now living inside you, you're going to notice some definite changes in your life. Don't wait another minute because no one is guaranteed they'll see tomorrow. We're going to leave it here for today, but as always, feel free to leave your thoughts and comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.